Hello guys, this is going to be an unboxing of the Crucial 4GB DDR3 RAM for laptops. This is a 10600 or 1333 MHz version of the RAM. I'm going to be upgrading my laptop to 8GB of RAM. Right now it has 6GB and the configuration is two slots. One is 4 gigs and one is 2 gigs. So I just bought a 4 gig to replace the 2 gig RAM slot that's already being taken up. Underneath this is a crucial 128 gigabyte solid state drive. Um, solid state drive is a relatively new technology where it's basically a hard drive that it stores memory of your important documents as well as the operating system. But the difference between this and your typical hard drive is that solid state drives are completely, as the name says, solid state. There's no moving parts, everything is based off of flash memory. So as a result, the read and write times and the access times are a lot, a lot way more quicker than your traditional mechanical hard drives that spin on a platter with a moving needle. The downside to these drives are the, the price. For this price that I paid, it's only 128 gigabytes as you can see, and I just paid about $140 just a while ago where for $140 you can go and pick up a mechanical drive that gives you a space of around one to two terabytes which is 1,000 to 2,000 gigabytes of space for the same price as this so basically it's just uh, it all comes down to whether you rather space or performance uh, my laptop has two hard drive bays and one hard drive bay is currently being taken up via a mechanical 500 gigabyte 7200 revolutions per minute hard drive so what i'm going to do is i'm going to move that hard drive after i use the cloning kit to clone that hard drive to this ssd only the operating systems and some documents and applications because i need to do something with that later so i'm going to clone that to this so this is this is going to act as only a boot drive in the sense that it's only going to have the operating system and my applications so when i want to boot windows or when i, when I when I want to launch a software or application, everything's going to launch very fast and smooth. While all of my documents, such as my videos, music, and pictures, and anything else, will be stored on the original mechanical hard drive that the laptop came with. So, let's get to the unboxing of the 120 gigabyte. Actually, let's get to the unboxing of the RAM chips. This is actually smaller. Let me put this in the macro focus. All right. All right, but this is actually open a lot easier. There we go. All right. Surprise! The RAM just comes in this simple packaging. It's got the no anti-anti-static film to protect it. So this is the RAM chip. Relatively simple, four gig four gigabytes DDR three memory. Let's flip it around. All right, so let's begin opening this. All right, so in the box, yeah, you have your you have your data transfer kit. This is a the CD that has the software installed on it. This will allow me to literally clone my existing hard drive for my laptop to this solid state drive. So as a result, I will not have to. Uh, start fresh and reinstall this the, um, my windows and my apps and all that other stuff to the solid state drive also the software will properly align the uh, solid state drive via 4k and I'll look into um manually installing I mean activate and trim if the um if windows isn't doing it on its own and also with solid state drives it is 
highly recommended that you turn off defragging from Windows. You don't want to defrag a solid state drive because the way solid state drive works is that it doesn't need to have the memory or the files set up in a way where it can, it can be easier access because everything is flash based so your solid state drive would access the data instantly as opposed to mechanical hard drives that have to spin up a disk and then the needle has to find the data that's why defragging those types of hard drives is better for that hard drive so it moves the files that you mostly use a lot more closer and more easy to access for the needle but with solid state drives what you're doing is you're utilizing the read and write cycles of your flash memory and keep in mind guys the downside to this is that flash memory it's just it's just we have to live with it flash memory has limited amounts of read and write cycles whereas they literally won't work anymore after a certain amount of time so when you're defragging a solid state drive you're just basically wearing them down uh the lifespan for this solid state drive i believe is 1.2 million hours so by that time i most likely would have a, a much more higher end um configuration in terms of my laptop or pc so it, it won't be anywhere anytime soon before this laptop, I mean not this laptop, the solid state drive fails and gives out. So this, this is the solid state drive right here. It is protected in the anti-static uh, bag enclosure. I'm just going to open it real quick. It says attention, observe precautions for handling electrostatic sensitive devices. Let's just hope that I don't give off any static to the solid state drive. Because I am on a carpet. Alright, this is the solid stage drive. It's your typical 2.5 inch made for laptops. It can also be used on a desktop if you get a 2.5 inch to 3.5 inch bay converter, which just allows it to fit on the two the, the converter and then slide into your existing 3.5 inch slot without the hard drive going all over the place but solid state drives the good thing about them again with these is that you can literally just shake them around while they're being used they won't suffer from any kind of mechanical if your laptop drops your data won't just be um damaged this is basically because there's no moving parts in this um it uses less power there's no noise it runs cooler and it's it is lighter weight because i've held my mechanical um, hard drive for my laptop which is also a 2.5 inch and this does feel significantly lighter you have your documents this is your limited three-year warranty and this just tells you how to install it to your typical laptop the thing is my laptop does not install this way it's different you're gonna see later when I have the installation video and this is uh, the data transfer kit guide Also, you have your your SATA. I believe this can go up to this is just a SATA 2.5 inch wire to USB. So it basically you can plug your um you plug the solid stage drive into the SATA connection right here, and then you plug it into a USB port into your computer, and you two things can happen. Your solid stage drive can now act as an external hard drive, and you can then clone your existing hard drive onto the solid state drive using the software. So this has been an unboxing of the crucial 128 gigabyte solid state drive. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it in the comment box. Thanks for watching guys, later.